Hey guys, Mrs. Talk Techie here and for today's quick tech tutorial I'm gonna go over how to mask images and this tutorial just came about because I'm working on these uh, Instagram templates and uh, I was supposed to finish them early this week but I just got so into it and I've already created uh, templates for science, social studies, math, and English slash reading. Um, it should have just been one, but anyways, I got caught up into it and I kind of fell in love and, and before you knew it, I had one for each subject. So anyways, one of the things that um, as I was going through it was uh, having to mask an image and, and masking an image is basically uh, turning it into a shape. So you've got your, your regular image, but you want it to be in the shape of a circle, a heart, a, a star or something like that that's called masking the image. And so a lot of us don't know how to get to that. It's actually really simple. So that's where I'm going to take you really quick right now. So I'm here on one of the templates that I was working on. And um, a lot of our kids are working off of their phone. So I'm going to show you off the web browser. So if you're using a desktop, a laptop, a Chromebook, how you do it off of a, de a, a, a Chrome browser, right? How you do it off your phone and how it's done off the iPad. They're very similar, but there is some differences. So I want to show you all that, hopefully as quick uh, as possible. So here we go. And you can actually share this if you do get my Instagram templates. You can actually upload this video to the template and uh, your kids can know how to do it because like I said, a lot of them are working remote learning off of their phones. So we want to uh, kind of give them that heads up on this is how you complete it and to make sure that they're going to be successful. So I have an image here. And images such as squares work better when you're trying to mask it uh, into a circle. So real quick, you select the image, you go up here, and you don't click on crop, you're going to mask the image. So that little arrow, down arrow is where you mask the image. This toolbar won't come up unless you've selected it. And I know that I've selected it because I have my little blue squares all around it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this, and now I can mask it into any shape that I want. So like I mentioned, a square, it's perfect for a circle. You can also mask it into other shapes like a cloud bubble. Let me just show you what I mean by a square works best for circles. I'm going to go ahead and select it so that I can get this formatting. I'm going to go back to shapes and I'm going to try to mask this into a circle. Notice what it's going to do because it's taking its original picture and trying to format it. So here's a workaround that you can do, guys. I'm going to double click so that I can crop it. And I'm going to crop this image to be more of a square because I want it to be a circle. So here you go. Same procedure. And it's kind of there. I can continue a little bit more here. And there we go. Perfect. So I just wanted to show you a couple of tips and tricks on how to do it off your web browser. Now let's take it over to a cell phone. And in this case, I am using an iPhone. Things should be similar uh, with Androids. The, the feature shouldn't change because it's still a mobile device. So I'm right here on my cell phone view. And this is how the kids, most of our kiddos are working remotely off of. And if you notice on the top right, uh, there's the three little buttons, a little comment bar, then you have that plus sign. You're gonna go ahead and click on that plus sign because that's where you're going to get the menu to be able to um, to be able to add an image. Notice, so you can add the image from photos or from camera. After that, I've already chosen my image that I have on Safari, and I have three options here. What I can do, what I can do here is that I can either copy the image, I can save it to my camera roll or I can even screenshot it. So I'm gonna show you those three things. If I do a long press on my iPhone, I can copy it, I get that feature. I can do that long press and add it to my photos, or I can simply take a screenshot of my image. Those are your last resorts, right? If you can't, if it won't save to your camera roll and you really need that image, screenshot it and save it to your photos and now you have it there. So really easy. Now you go back to your slides presentation and you're going to click on the plus button again. You're going to go to image and then you can gather it from your photos. But I want to show you what I did when I copied that image. I still have it saved to my clipboard. Now I'm going to double click on the screen and I'm going to get this menu and I'm going to paste it. 
So now I have my image there. After this, I want you guys to notice and direct your attention to uh, underneath the image of George Washington. At the bottom, I have a pencil. I have the weights of the border of my shape. I have the crop feature. I'm gonna click on that crop feature and then I'm gonna wait because I'm gonna get a pop-up notice and it says drag the handles to crop the images. When that, that goes away, notice there's something else on the right hand side. Now I can add a shape to my cropping. So you're gonna click on the crop and then be able to shape it. The, that's one of the only differences from the web browser. The web browser, you go straight to, uh, to masking it. Over here, you're gonna click crop, then you can mask it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that you're going to then mask it, and then you're gonna choose your image that you wanna mask it into, your shape, I'm sorry. And so in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and click on uh, the circle, right, just to show you. And that's how easy it is to mask, guys. You could have clicked on, you could have clicked on a star, an arrow, whatever you wanna mask, you can do. Super simple, guys. Now let's take it over to the iPad, very similar. Okay guys, so simple, plus sign on the top right corner, image, I'm gonna bring it up from my photos this time, I'm gonna choose a photo, but you're gonna notice that my photo is actually, uh, you know, a rectangle. So in order to make this into a circle, I need to actually crop it. So I'm gonna make it into a circle, I mean a square, and now that I've made it into a square, I'm gonna click on the crop, and then on the shape, I'm gonna find the circle, and there you go. Super easy. This is on the iPad, guys. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later.